missed the last four as well with that left knee injury. You see how that'll start? Oh, if they're going to have a chance to win. Yeah, he's going to have to play well. Malcolm Brogdon doesn't look like he's moving great, but able to step into that triple and knock it down. Yeah, Brogdon, as we mentioned, dealing with that hand. Obviously, there's some disappointment with that. McDermott able to slither his way in and back to Brogdon. McDermott is there, cleans up the middle. Putting it all together as Miles Bridges misses underneath. Here's Dougie McBuckets. Quickly they go to their bench, how short their leash is going to be with these starting units. Washington. Washington big year, second year kid out of Kentucky, 14th in the league in blocks. And he has made some big offensive contributions down the stretch. That is a week and a half of the season, but they lost their last five games. Really stumbled to that finish line as McDermott knocks in another three. Really the, the key that tells you the executions there and early on Charlotte just seems like they're about a step slow Not playing with great. It's a patented little step back and Sabonis clears Here comes Brogdon Dropping a dime beautifully on the floor and that baseline cut there for the finish Indiana 9 of 13 at the start as Zell how big has McConnell been for this oh. Indiana team, especially down the stretch? All the injuries that they've had. McDermott, drive and kick out to Brissett, splash! And there's again a paint touch for the triple, and the point about you, uh, McConnell is a well-made one there. As you grow Seven of ten from downtown here in this first quarter, and that has been the difference in the game. It's T.J. McDermott has had a better quarter. Certainly not this season, maybe in his career on that beautiful assist. Three to shoot as Graham has to fire. Wow. NBA playing game. 9-10 matchup. McConnell steps into the passing lane to the rack and lays it up and in. Seals the deal there with that layup in transition. Two seconds off the inbound. Sumner's shot puts it down. To finish their regular season, their spirits were high. GA, they said, look, no one expected us to be here to begin with. As McConnell again able to leave. Someone makes a defensive play for Charlotte. That's Jalen McDaniels. But then it's taken right back. Martin turned back. Just making almost making the right read almost every time on offense. Oh, what an answer at the other end. Gia, how surprised are you with this? You mentioned you know, Charlotte from where you're sitting just isn't competing yet. It is surprising partner and a lot of it is also inexperience Because it is a different game and you see Charlotte's hands Three-point shot by Malik Monk his first offering of the night won't go look at Martin going left hand say And then Indiana coughs it up at the other end No one home for Malik Monk. can Charlotte Make a push before the end of the half. Monk hey. back door. Bridges cocking it back. Just hasn't quite had his timing so far in this opening half. Yeah, they've done. That's the one thing they have done, Charlotte. Defense. Just such a unique skill set. Turn back. Look at Bridges inside for Charlotte. And then at the other end, it's Monk. I think trying to get his offensive game going. Washington underneath kicks out to Monk. Shot clock at five. Monk the little Euro step. Beautiful dunk. Five Monk show great patience. Waited for the defender to commit and delivered a beauty for Zeller. Here comes McDermott putting it on the. And I just don't get the sense that the sense of urgency you expect to have in an elimination game has been on display here from Sharp. You got Ball, you got Washington. They got a lot of guys that haven't played in the postseason basketball. And it's a different game, and they just have not made the adjustment. And Sabonis got a hand on it, comes up with the thefts. Oh, this was not the close to the half that the Hornets were hoping for. Beautiful pass. Struggled mightily to put the ball in the basket. Brogdon the drive and kick. Justin Holiday from deep. Moving forward without one of their key guys. But so far, they have been dominant against Charlotte, and they pick up where they left. Washington three of seven in the opening half eight points Brogdon spots up bangs Sabonis so again just one of eight in the first half He's done a little bit of other things rebounding for the tip 
you do get Brogdon back, and boy, the Pacers have come out here and just been electric on both ends. Man with a 25-point lead. Here's Sabonis, backs down against Washington, a little lean-in step back, and against the front. Said, you know, created their issues in the first half, youth and experience, maybe one of the reasons that could bring them back. You just don't know any better, GA. Yeah, well, they, they got older player. Gordon Hayward, they would love to have out on the floor. Here's the steal by Zeller. Well, let's see if they'll count. Sabonis, strong move there for the finish. But that, that was the other thing that was impressive. They had done such a good job yes. on that first half. Here's Zeller. He's been lively in the second half, putting it down. Say that for just about everyone yeah. who's <laughs> put the uniform on for Indiana. Here's Brissett again from deep. It's target practice. You know, a team that overachieved for so much this season. Sabonis that finished number nine, 34 and 38 on the season. Brissett unable to track it down. Monk steps into a three. Seen stranger <laughs> things happen, but they're going to have to string some stops together here this last three minutes. Sabonis. Fit to this. We saw it play out also in, in, in baseball when they did it. Here's Malik Monk, who has been now 5 of 10 in 12 minutes off the bench. Open look at a three, and Indiana's mind. They were a top six team, and, and I'd have to agree with them. They have had a terrific team season, but this is just both ends. Fourth basket of the night for Miles Bridges. He's got nine points. Here comes McConnell, and they just tee it off. You know, he didn't have it going offensively, but his passing and rebounding. And what an exclamation. 13 career triple doubles for Sabonis. One of the more gifted big men we have seen in the league in recent years. What a drive. And another game to be able to advance to the postseason. So as great as they've been. As percent beautiful little pass by McConnell. All the issues that they've had. As LaMelo Ball's three-pointer bounce. And look at that Indiana defense extending about five feet beyond the three-point line. And this is, the other thing that's impressive, like literally everyone for the Pacers who's played has played well as Bridges gets lost in translation there. Nice find by Ball for the finish. Bridges to catch that fastball, but we've seen enough from LaMelo in terms of his incredible passing ability there with a nice floater and he's definitely had a much better finish to the game than he did start and a key role on some of their playoff teams the last couple of years before coming on over to Indiana ah! so that creates a deal a couple of sir of that 7-8 matchup again Boston and Washington that comes your way Later tonight, right here, and the reports about you know, maybe Nate Bjorkman, uh, Bjorkman's job security. How about that finish? Just click it on all cylinders. Intensity. You know, there's no love lost between those two organizations. As Cash and Stanley able to step into this Hornets team. And, and you know what, based on how things have been going, uh, you would expect Washington to have a great chance to get this win on the road. Oh, man, this was a team, again, that was in the number four slot in the East early part of April. As Martin. A very entertaining series. Final 90-plus seconds. Holiday to the cup. Another reminder, Washington, Boston comes your way next. And there's a chance up that comes your way next. All the questions that the Pacers had to answer over the last couple of weeks of the season. As those